So my rotimatic has been creating an abnormal sound during the kneading process. And in this video, you will see that I am trying to isolate the reason by removing the rotator in the cup and trying to isolate the reason by pushing it with my finger. has confirmed that the problem is not with the rotator cup but with the bearing and motor inside. So this is a picture of uh, the dispenser when looking up. This is the central screw for uh, the rotator cup. As you can see it is a star shaped screw. This is the top cover when removed from the rotimatic. This is the circuit plate, etc., looking from the top. This is the lock on the right side when removing the top cover. This is the lock on the left side when removing the top cover. These are a couple of more pictures when the top was removed, and you can see on the wiring, harness, etc. I took these pictures to make sure that at the time of reassembling, I uh, knew where everything went. Again, a few more pictures of the wires. This is the flower container. This is another star-shaped screw which was removed. Another screw, all looking from the top. This is looking inside. So this is what the inside gear mechanism looks like. And it seems like this the gear right in front. This, this is the gear which is causing problem. And it seems we have a loose washer also lying. This is the gear which is causing the problem. This is the main gear which rotates the kneading cup. This one. And as I said, I see this, this washer loose lying here. It will need both hands, so let me first get this done. This is how it looks from the inside. Also, it seems this, the water pipe is either getting some mold or maybe it is just a little black in color here also. I'll open it later on and have a look what is going on. So these are the pictures of the main gear which rotates the rotator cup for kneading. I'm disassembling it one by one. It is supported by needle bearings, two washers, one on top, one on bottom, and that Teflon ring. So these are the pictures of the water pipes. As you can see, there is some mold on the pipe, which is on the upside. The left is the oil motor. The right is the water motor, which I have removed. These again, few more pictures of the pipes. As you can see the mold. This is another picture from the so downside. I have opened this um, rotimatic cup and I'm looking at this water pipeline. So as you can see, this has mold in here. Here, 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 as you can see. And also it is on the other side also. So I will try to remove the whole pipe and clean it and then install it. So this machine has been used for almost two years. So it seems that after uh, maybe one year, 
the mold starts forming and then you have to uh, clean it. I'm not sure what else can be done to uh, prevent the formation of mold. Um, fine, thanks for watching. So I have pretty much opened it up. That is the pump, this one. And the rubber hose is crimped in there. The tubing is crimped. I cannot remove it. All of this is the mold. So I'll try to clean it. This one here. The one which was uh, at the end of this nozzle that I have been able to clean. So let's see. I'll try to use this brush and then try to clean it completed the repairs I have assembled the machine back so let's see whether it has been successful or a failure we'll find out now okay same flower is running low let me top it up I have topped up the flower and let's see now Yes, the problem has been fixed. So it means the cause was that bearing which we just opened. So I'm glad that it is fixed now. Let's see how long does it last. Thanks for watching.